Hello folks, welcome back to Terminator Resistance. And uh, on the last episode, we thought we were attacking the Skynet Central Core and it ended up being a, uh, a trap. So I'm not, I really thought it was a... Oh yeah, where is everyone? I thought it was the end game and it, it was not, so... Let's see where we go from here. Something decided to. Something decided to freeze on my other monitor. What the hell? Let me guess, they're all dead. Guess it's a good thing I told my friends to leave, huh? Who'd have who'd have guessed? Commander! Rivers, you're alive! What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is, you're number two, just behind Connor. You took my spot, and for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave, now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them, and then find Connor, and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about me. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. <clears throat> I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go! Good luck, Jacob. The vent in the command room. Okay, uh... Oh, shh. Wait a minute, there's a... Uh... Random note here. Uh, I just got back from Pasadena. I found something special, something I thought I'd never see again. A wild rose. It was the brightest red with prickly green thorns. Can you even imagine something growing and living in that wasteland? It made me realize that this earth can still pr produce such beauties. I didn't want to pick it because it was so precious. It made me think of you, beautiful and wild. I want you to see it. It'll remind you of our reason for fighting because sometimes I feel that you forget. When you get back from your mission, find me. I'll take you there. Love, Perry. Okay, this is a random kind of thing to be reading in the middle of a fight. What do we got in here? You 
guys reckon I should just uh, try and kill all these? Or I should actually sneak? What do you think? I reckon we're gonna have to fight some of them. Take it slow, just in case. Oh, we got a flamer boy. Should we light him up? There's another one though. I mean, I can try and kill them all. With this new gun, it's not as hard to fight them. Oh, no, no. Just want the ammo. I didn't notice those guys were blue. I go in the wrong way. Oh, fuck. Hi. You don't see me, do you? The tank before he moves. Oh, too late. Let's not waste time <clears throat> lock picking at the moment. Oh fuck. Whoa. Hello. Uh, maybe you get this. Backpack is full, what a surprise. Uh what do I have so much of? Okay, I don't need these. All of them. Uh, I don't need the shotgun shells anymore. Don't, well, I'll keep the rockets. I don't think I need the crafting stuff anymore. Maybe I'll hold on to it just in case. Sticky bomb, let's drop. I'm not going to end up using them. Uh, do I have any duplicate guns? I do not. So, okay. Hello. Oh, it's a, it's an infiltrator. dare throw a grenade at me. that there. Oh, random loot. Okay. Oh no, not Alvin. Am I going the wrong way? Guess not. Forget sneaking, I guess. Money. 
anything else? Uh, HK. All right. I need to find John Connor and give him those coordinates. We can still stop, stop Scott. Pardon me. We can still stop Skynet. That is, if his division didn't share the same fate as mine. The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. Right. Uh, did I level up here? Yeah. Okay, we got all the toughness. I guess we can just go ahead and use that point on stealth since, uh... Anyone receiving me? This is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN46890. Anyone... The hell are we? Anyone out there? Weird that I'm not seeing anything. Dead robots. Skynet got to them. Dead resistance. Okay. What am I missing here? If anyone's hearing this, please respond. Hmm. Kind of... Kind of worrying that I'm not seeing anything at all. Is anyone else out there? God damn it. A jet? Guess I could sprint. <laughs> Just uh, try not to miss anything. Ah! Jesus, Rivers, calm down. Look, we got one. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, no! Wait, he's human! Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Alrighty. Survivor from Baron's division. That's him. The one Connor's been talking about.
Well, I wonder what they'll make John Connor look like in this game. Sergeant. Whoa. Commander. Sergeant Rivers. I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps' coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. But not at all. Are we preparing to attack the Corps? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war. So they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense grid. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. How did you know that the Central Core wasn't at the observatory? Understanding the changing nature of time travel made me anticipate the most unexpected events. So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator was sent back to our time, I suspected the future I was told would change. What do you mean? When that infiltrator connected to Skynet, it warned them about the attack on the observatory. They had to move the central core, otherwise they would lose again. Unfortunately, the intel we received came at a cost. If there was any other way, I would have taken it gladly. Who is the stranger? In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and sent our soldiers back in time. Like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the people Skynet marked for termination. One of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteered to go back. So I took it upon myself to choose a protector from among them. And the one I chose was you. You are the one you call stranger. Yeah, I, I sort of assumed that, but... Why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location of the Central Core. You're the messenger of the intel that could lead to Skynet's downfall. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest when the time comes. But right now, I want you to get ready. Tonight, soldier, we stop Skynet. Sounds like a plan. John Connor anticipated everything that's happened. He knew that Skynet would try to deceive us, and he had faith that I'd bring him those coordinates. The name Connor was always synonymous with hope, and now I know why. I have faith that he will lead us through this final battle. Okay, then. We leveled up again. Um, just go ahead and get Stealth 3. Because I don't know what else to spend it on. on their way to the Central Core. Then we better get ready. I think I'm basically good to go. I mean, I've got everything I need, I think. Take whatever you need, Sergeant. Pretty sure I've got it. I'll take the violent plasma cells and health, though. What's that sound? I'm playing video games. All right. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Oh, it's gunfire. Commander. In the background. That's what the sounds are, of course. Commander. Okay. Sergeant, we're waiting up ahead. All right, I'm on my way. Let's fucking do it. The defense grid. I see it. Yep, I see a bunch of. I don't have any grenades, do I?
Man, does this gun make all the difference. No more coming. Watch out there, dude. Don't run up there. Or, okay. Look out, man. As well get this stuff. We know if we're gonna need it. Oh shit. Watch the flanks! Drones! There's four of them! Commander, the first sector is secured. All right, Rivers. Continue the offensive. Preparing to send in the tank. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47! No. Oh. Okay, um... Oh, damn. Spooky when they jump. Load, hurry up. Oh, God. Yet we got things. Including a goddamn HK. Uh, I don't have enough ammo. I don't have missiles. Anyone got missiles out here? Thing just lurking there, or is it dead? Who knows? Okay. Out, man. Another sector cleared. All right. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went online. You've got to keep going. Ariel, down it! I don't have any rockets. Perfect timing. Oh, thanks, bro. Whoever that was. T-47 ahead. Oh man, here we go. Two of them. Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. Two of them. One second. I got a lot of big health kits. Let's let's use that. I uh, still don't have a reason to use the stimulants. All right. Last one. This thing does a pretty good job against them too, I guess.
Oh. No way, no how. HK tank is on its way. Hold your position. Sure thing. Ariel! I can't do anything about the. Oh. Sergeant, we need backup. Hang in there. I can't do anything about the aerial. I don't have. Or unless this gun works. Oh, it does. Okay. the defense grid commander. Good. That HK will accompany you. Receive Check your fire! That tank is ours! Oh, boy. All right. No big guy. A few of them. Get it, big tank. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Rivers, I just received intel from the 124. They've located the central core. It was at the coordinates you gave. They'll strike soon. Continue with the offensive. Okay. Seeing him sometimes. All right. There's an HK tank, guys. Damn it. Something keeps popping up on my other monitor. It's pausing my game. Okay. Tank. CDE just 
went online. I repeat, TDE just went online. Rivers, there's no stopping now. Yeah, I bet. Silverfish, take cover! It's happening. Skynet's starting to send Terminators back. Suppressive fire! First Terminator just went through. Okay, well, tough shit. Have bigger problems. Got it. Okay. Where do you want me to go? The third Terminator has been set. I repeat, the third Terminator has been set. What do you want from me, man? I'm pushing up as fast as I can. Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the Central Core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the Core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? I do. You want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? Well, uh, oh sure, I'll go back in time. I'll do it. I'll go back. I knew you would. Let's hope I won't get killed this time. Let us begin then.
John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life. But at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. I hope that one day I will have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. And as for me, it was time to start over. Listen to me if you want to live. Well, okay. I like how they uh, show you how all your choices made throughout the game play out. I mean, I did basically what I wanted to. Yeah, I wonder if I hadn't wiped out the Terminators. Uh, in the resistance base where Baron was, if she would have died or something. Um, but yeah, that was that was quite the adventure. That took me over ten hours, I think, in total play time. <clears throat> so I really, really liked this game. I thought it was very good, really good uh, way to set a shooter game in the actual classic Terminator universe instead of the one that Salvation used and stuff like that. And we won't talk about the new movies universe, because <laughs> I don't count those as Terminator movies. Uh, one thing I would say is I, the, um, the shooting could have been a little better, like the animations and just the gunplay in general could have been a little more slick, but it wasn't a deal breaker. Some of the animations, a little odd, um, but I really enjoyed this game. I had a great time with it. Glad that I picked it up and went through it. So I'll probably spool together a um, a full game video of this without the commentary, um, just for people that aren't into uh, episodic videos with uh, commentary and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going to let the credits roll out, and I will see you guys in another game. Take care.